Nathan. Well, obviously that was the, uh, the vision that was given to Abraham, or that was told to Abraham, that the people were going to go to slavery. But what was they doing in Egypt? What was they doing in Egypt? They said it, bro, just a minute ago. Yeah, so they do enslave them, bro. And who's Pharaoh's people? I just want you to follow along, but so you don't ride on the road and forget everything. Just trying to make you understand, isn't it? Come on. And please, uh, let it know something means Egypt again. With six. With what? With six. With who? With six. One more time. With six. So now, if Egypt means slavery, and the Lord is going to bring us back into Egypt again with six. He's slave, right? So who can match that going to slave with six? Who can match going to slavery ships? Like nowadays, nowadays. That was a prophecy told to the Israelites at that time. They didn't go into slavery ships at that time. Not on a mass scale, innit? The Bible might say the Maccabees, that they'll be sold and shipped. But listen, on a mass scale, who matches that condition? Well, have you got sheep there? Sister, you've got two minutes for the word of God? Come, 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 King, King, come. Sister, come, come. Two seconds. But the camera's gonna pick up something. Yeah. Right, so um if our people went to slavery with yeah. ships, yeah, who would be according to the Bible? Yeah. Who would be slavery? Who would be slavery? And our people actually match that issue. Right? They went to slavery. Who would we be according to the Bible? The Lord never called the slaves. Who are the chosen people? I'm going to show you the chosen the to slavery, within half of half of it, and we went to slavery, you'll be able to the Bible. Because when, when have you ever had your best interest at 
hot. They kind of want to shake a bit. They want to do that then. They want to do that soon. They want to do that guy. They want to do that guy. They want to do that guy. Make us us reproach 
and our neighbors are scorned and are derision to them that are proud about us. Read that one more time, bro. Read that one more time. One more time. Thou makest us a reproach. Right, so the Lord um, said, Thou makest us a reproach. Right, all these other nations, they like us, bro. Truth is, they kind of found us. Bro. I have a bag. I have a bag. There's a child in us.
sister, you see that? So you fight the system, you're always trying to pull her in to kind of unite, and she don't want to unite. Yeah. This is the curse we're trying to show you. She literally put it in her jumper. Right. She said, black people unite, and the back, I said, what? Right. What about the sister? But guess what, at the back of what? What have I got in the back of me? Chosen ones, right? Uh, we are the chosen huh. ones, right? Deuteronomy 7 and 6 after. And it reads, uh, pull their hands after their own name. Yes, big man, you've got two minutes in the word of God. We're the Israelites, have you heard about the Israelites? We're the plough. We're the plough. We've got a plough for you. It reads, pull their hands after their own name. And it reads, their inward report is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Come on. They call their lands after their own name. They call America after their own name. They basically, once they come to place, they rename. They rename the place. Even if you don't understand, I believe you've got a place in the family. What do you call again? Jamaica Road. Yeah, Jamaica Road. Right? You think they've got a place in the media as well. They can't get and then put it in the street. It's funny because this man's telling on himself, he's showing he's a devil. He's showing you that. They went and raped, murdered what, Australia, Asia, Africa, one to another place. They've gone around the whole world and shed in blood. No! Not one person They haven't got no thought of it. And look at him struggling now. Slavery didn't work out for you, did it? He's still struggling. Bad right. health. No, at all. I'm not struggling at all, you. mate. I'm really happy. But you better think you're really, really, really happy. I've worked happy. all my life. I'm married. You're tired. miserable, in, you're miserable inside. You think you're happy. You're miserable inside. <laughs> all that rape, I'm murder, really and racism that you've done to our people. Right, all right. that evil. Right? You're not happy. You think you're happy. You think you're happy. You're not. The Lord said, miserable are they that have been to you. You're not dead, man. Right. Right. Madness. Where are we at? Please. We've got commandments to keep. You have to understand that we are the Israelites. Let's get some more commandments. Leviticus 11 and 7. I know I told you another scripture. What's that there? What's that there? Come on. You're holding a precept. Come on. 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 I'm not saying you can't have a good time. There's literally a, a book called Songs. Songs. You sing hymns and godly songs. For all time, the song they're listening to is a stupid song. They take a zanga zanga, take the woman's wife and beat down my brother. And then yeah. It's not any good. Where, what about uplifting the people? What about setting up communities? Let me ask you a question. You've got Boys Brigade. You've got Boys Brigade. Boys Brigade. Is that? Boys Brigade is when you. It's like a centre. You've got girls again and boys again. Right? You kind of go there, you play table tennis, like you kind of have talk. No, no, no. Right? They might have a different way to But nowadays they got... It's like a club. Nowadays they got none of that for the youth. For the youth. They got no boys again, no girls again. When I was young, we used to go boys again. Right? We used to go to church on a Sunday because we didn't know Sunday wasn't uh, the Sabbath day. We thought it was. We were young. Now we know the Sabbath day is from Sabbath. How you know that, bro? Sunday's what? So, so you know Saturday's what? The Sabbath day. So you said Sunday's the rest of the day. Someone told you, but you're right in here, you're right. Saturday's really the rest of the day. Sunday's the first day of the week. Check your calendar, you see Sunday in the beginning, Saturday in the end. Right? The so-called white man, the so-called white woman will tell you Sunday is the last day of the week. When it's not! Right? right? You're good right? And that shows you they're comfortable as so. well. Why would you wear flip flops on concrete? In cold weather. Finish off, man. Oh, it's not yet. Are you inside? Wow. See that? Wow. <laughs> go, go, start. Eleven first. Eleven first. Um, seven. So the swine. Like the bad of So, probably you know what swine is. So, they had an outbreak years ago with the swine food. Are you familiar with the swine food? So, the swine is basically pig, bro. You eat pig, pork. Bacon. Let's see what the looks like about bacon. I'll be blowing for it. Getting yeah, chewed from the pod. Here's a peanut on to you. Can you hear what he's saying? Read that one back, read that one back. I'll be blowing for it. Yeah. Read it from the pod. And a swine guy divided who? I'll be blowing for it. Yeah, it's so true. So the swine, the way the bad is, getting all the bacon, getting all the attributes of the animal. Yeah, it's 
trip. Sister, I'm in the word of God, sister, two minutes. Yeah, you what? Yeah, you trip, not the pod. So you don't copy that, this is food. The pig don't copy that, this is food, come on. He has some clean on you. He is what? He has some clean on you. The Lord said the pig is unclean to us. So what do you think about that? Are you taking it from that one? Like the pig being unclean? So why is he eating it then? If the pig is unclean, why is he eating it? So you have to tell the mummy don't want you to talk no more. Right, you heard right, God right. said it's unclean. Leviticus 11 and 7, mum. You kind of get your Bible. Or you go on your Bible app. Use your phone for something smart. And kind of break down the word to your mum. Look, the Lord said, can't eat the pig. It's unclean. Right. And you kind of go into the pig. You kind of go into the lifestyle of the pig. They roll around in the dirt. They eat whatever they want to eat. So you know the team, then, brother. There's a thing called, the, I believe, the tape worm. Yeah. It stays in your body for how many years? I think it's like eight years or ten years. The tape worm, that comes from the pig. There's no way to kill it. There's no way to burn it. This is this. There's been cases in them. Look. Anyway, but hey, it happened. 
Verse 13. Ye are the sword to the earth, but it's a sword as not a saber wherewith shall be sorted. Right, so imagine there's no saber in that sword. Imagine it's just some sort of private taste of sword. Do you want that sword? No, oh, we're the sword of the earth. We're the people here yeah, of the earth that looks so, oh that's how we do it now. That's how we play football. That's how we ride a bike. That's how we do this. That's how we make music. We only got rappers in nearly every single country. Some of them speaking against the system, some of them being for fun, but who come back from where? Our people. Who was rapping before us? Hip hop, we invented hip hop anyway in general. So we black. And what's their real people identity? What, what are they called? Israelites. Right. I've got to make sure you remember that. We are the Israelites. We're God's chosen people. We're above all people. Right, right above the new era. From Deuteronomy 14 verse um, 2. For though our holy people of the Lord and God, and the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. So what peculiar means? It's special. You could look at it as weird, but it's not usual, isn't it? Peculiar people. What else can you Above all the nations that are upon the face so of the, the earth. So the Lord said, You're peculiar, you're above all the nations of the earth. Us as a collective of people. They need us to survive. You know a lot of our people that go missing. You know they extract the melanin and put it to their old people or put it to their people or make it to medicines. You know that, innit? It's not just the ocean they extract it from, the coral reef, because that's even drying up now. They're kind of mashing up the ocean, the whole the, the whole uh, the old, uh, layer, right? The kind of air, right? the plants, the animals, they mash up everything. They need to somehow extend their life because they're dying at a mass rate. Some of them are like 40, they look like 100. There's that. You might see a brother like, he's a brother, you're 20 years old. Jeez. I didn't know you were 20. But he said, I'm not 20, but I'm 40. I'm not 20, but I'm 40. Right? He told you I was 20. Oh, you look 20, my brother. You're, you're just kind of young because we don't crack when we get old. They crack when they get old. Right. They can't walk in the sun. They hide from the sun, man. Right? Now why would God make a people that hide from the sun? For his pleasure. He does whatever he wants to do. Let me get out of there for the family. Yeah, bring up, bring up. Solomon 1 and 10, and it means, thy cheeks are coming, the rose of Jews. Get back, get back. So Solomon 1 verse 5, I am black. What did the Lord say? I am black. What did Solomon say? I am black. That's in the Holy Bible. Solomon said, I am black. The what else? But comely. But beautiful. And who said, I am black and beautiful? The Chinese man say that. The so called white woman say that. Read that again, one I am black. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. You know that's in the Bible. In the Holy Bible, Solomon is saying I'm black and what? I'm black and I'm beautiful. I'm black and beautiful. Right? They don't like that. They don't want to hear that. Why is he saying that? What about white people? What about white power? What about this? You got the question of rape, the murder, the stole everything. And you want to say, what about this and what about that? Right? How long black have been waiting to get them back to slavery? Mm -hmm. Not long. We're waiting for the Messiah. Right. Right? He's gonna take them down right. and put them in slavery. Right? But that's how I'm suffering just bro. If one people were put into slavery, that the other people that put them into slavery get put into slavery. I know it's a bit of tongue to stuff. That's alright. So the people that put into slavery, those people that put them into slavery, if they go into slavery, that sound right. That sound just. Right, it? it sounds right, that's in the Holy Bible. 
Revelation 39. Come on, Revelation 30 verse 9. Any man has the ear, let him hear. Now we got ears, innit? Come on. He that leadeth in captivity. He that what? He that leadeth. What the Lord say? He that leadeth in captivity. What the Lord say? He that leadeth to captivity. So what? So go into captivity. So what? So go into captivity. The Lord said, He that leadeth. Right on time. Right on time. And you come out doing this. Yeah. You come out doing this. Yeah. Yeah. See that? Yeah. So, Warren, so you're going to say this. Right? He was here when he said what he said it. I retired. I've done whatever. I've done. Yeah, I'm happy. You know how much money probably could have been taken? I'm probably black. You know how much money probably five for no reason? Or for being one minute late? Right, right. And Tommy probably came in nine years later. Yeah, yeah. Right? High, high on crack cocaine. Right. Or, 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 or money. Right. Okay. Or heroin, right. or mushrooms. Right. Oh, yeah, it's not Tommy, man. Leave them, it's just Tommy, yeah, man. It's alright, it's just Tommy, man. Yeah, man. Right? Damn, damn, man. The Lord said they're gonna what? Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. So he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right. He did not lead us into slavery. So it's only right that they what? Right. Bro, you gotta say in your chest, though, yeah? You gotta say it like you mean it, brother. Right? right? I'm going to say, they're going to go into slavery right. when Christ right. comes back. And what right. are they going to go into? Right. So right. It's only right. right. But we're not saying that wrong because we're saying, thus said the Lord. Right. When Christ comes back, he comes to put all those people into slavery right. that put his people into slavery. Right. Let me get uh, John 1 for a second. Okay. John 1 for a second. John 1 for a second. Oh, no, no, no. John Solomon 1 verse 5 in the text. Uh, yeah. I am black but calmly. What the Lord say? I am black but calmly. What the most I say? I am black but calmly. Just for the sisters that went past me. I see them looking. They went over there to the gym. They kind of went that way. One more time. And I am black but calmly. Hold the shoulder up. They're making it up. Fins and scales in the waters. Do you have fins and scales? 
clothes. You have to keep the clothes, but clothes do not have to be Only fish. So what else do you need of the clothes? Macro. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them try to eat. Come on. And all that have not put the scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters. And of any living thing is in the waters. They should be an abomination to you. Come on. They should be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat the flesh, but you shall have their carcasses. In abomination. In abomination. You heard the word abomination three times. Now, the word abomination is that something good about it. Why don't you say the word abomination? It doesn't sound like it's something that could be good, doesn't it? It could have been. So, abomination is something the Lord hates and detests. So, in the sea, if it's not a fish, you can just kill the party. Right? So, you can't have no more prawns, no more crabs, no more shrimp, no more lobster, no crustacean part. That would be abomination. They're the sea creatures, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean. We have to have fish and 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 fish we look at it at this place here, yeah. it's demons and it's angels. Some people's vessels are filled with demons. I don't know if you see the uh, cartoon of the anime, the demons there. Oh, it shows that certain demons even go around in certain places. There's like this murder around certain places. There's demons for that. There might be lust. There's demons for that. Right? And there might be people that are learning to and fro that are possessed with demons. Some of them more than one. Buy of them on the Sabbath, but we will not buy of them on the Sabbath. But we will 
Right, let me get a book out. Isaiah 1 and 3. Let me get a book out. That's the second book. And then we're going to get into Mark chapter. That's the quickest way I can do this. The quickest way. This is the kind of thing that I'm going to press up. That's what you are studying. Isaiah 1 verse 3 The ox knows his owner and the ox is past his crib but Israel does not know my people do not consider So now, the Lord compared us to two dumb animals an ox, a frustrated bull right, and an uh, uh, ox What is an ox? What animal is an ox? A donkey right, So one that knows the owner and one that knows how to get back to the owner Come on but Israel does not know. But Israel does not know. What about black? But Israel does not know. What about Caribbean? But Israel does not know. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. My people don't even care who they are. They just want to go carnival, shake their bum. They don't care about God. So who would be Israel? Who would the Israelites be? Okay. Okay. money on Saturday, on Saturday, more money, right? Which is technically the Sabbath. Yes, it is the Sabbath, right? Our enemies, the red man, if you don't want to say white red, but red man. Yeah, right? but they Eden, call Esau, you know, Jamaican people means, call me red. No, but you're not red, sis. you'll be ruddy, you'll be brown. Actually, what? Brothers said he picked red skin to be two shades lighter than that. Right? So, I mean, are people confused? And they've been taught by the enemy to hate the light and love the dark. Or to love the light and hate the dark. Right? Yeah. Which one? Right? So, so, our enemy is a red man. Right? Well, I'll show you. Therefore, shall I serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So, now, what's the last thing you eat? Fish. Where did you buy from? Caribbean shop. Okay, okay, okay. So now who owns the Caribbean shop? Who do they pay rent to? I don't know. Yeah, we, can, we can get it that way as well. Yeah. We can get that way as well. Because most yeah. people say, okay, I went to the uh, subway or went to McDonald's. It's easy. When you say Caribbean shop, now we've got to go all the way back to say, okay, who owns the establishment that they pay rent to? Okay. Who owns it? I don't know. So who, who's more with the landlord? Who owns the land? The government, isn't it? Okay, and is, are they our people? No. Nope. Seminole Indian are, but not the East Indian with the dot in the head. East Indian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not the East Indian. I've got the chart. Look, Seminole Indians. Oh, 
Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Yes, King, come, come, come. I saw you looking, no, 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 it's too late. Back, brother, I saw you looking, come. Brother, come. Repent. See that? Sister, you came and got you. Forgot. Look, brothers are staring, they're still in the middle of the street. I wouldn't call them to you looking at them. They see their life, they see their way. You can't beg them or force them. Right? Kind of put them in slavery and say they got to listen. No, they got to win. They know what they're trying to do. They're not ready to come. We're looking for verse 31. And he reads, Miserable are they that are afflicted. Now, this is for that either man who said he's happy, he's right. retired. Right. Now, he lived his best life. Right. He's living comfortably. Right. He's old now. He's getting his pension now. Good. Read that again for the top. It reads, Miserable are they that have been in need and rejoice at that need. Tribe, say after the country. What country from? Ghana, what tribe? What tribe? Ask your dad what tribe you from? Country. Where? Oh, come, 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 come. Come in, brother. Ah, say the one, say the one. As soon as he's going to say the country, say what tribe? I jump the gun too quick, you know? <laughs> right? You've got to be quick sometime with them, you know? And they walk in the kitchen. Right? And they open to the whole side, bro. Let's continue with the one. Right. Sorry, bro, I'm going to let you fall off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Salak, yeah. Salak. And it reads, I don't know why you're going to lie here. I'm just getting started. I'm going to hold it back in quite short soon. I'm quite short or whatever the case may be, but just getting started. Come. What the Lord said? He's living his best life. He's on the way to Tesco to get food. One more time. The Lord said they're miserable. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, that benefited from the slave trade, right? That look down upon the so-called black woman, even though she wants to be him, that can't open a package, right? But that wants to be a single woman, right? Read that again. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, and rejoice at that fool. Let me get Romans 1 and 25. Make a prayer to the Lord. What did they say? One minute, what did they say? 
Because they have no knowledge. Right? The Lord said, therefore, my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Right? And if that guy actually knew what you're saying, him answering is him actually confirming that he is my enemy. Right, right. Because the Bible the Bible that the Spirit bears witness that the devil the Bible speaks about. Right? So here mana, here mana is how you say sister in Spanish. It's like it. Here mana or her mana. That's how you say sister in Spanish. Uh, praise the Lord. I'm going to send you to this next sentence. Therefore, my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge. The Lord said, Therefore, my people are going into slavery. You've got to serve your enemies because you ain't got no sense. You don't want to read the book. You don't want to understand certain things. You don't want to listen to your brother. You don't want to listen to your enemy. Right? Your manager. The people that hate you. They're fully right. black. The Lord said, They're your enemies right. in the Holy Bible. Whether they like it or not, they're going to hear this word. Right. They can laugh about it all they want. They're going to hear it though. Because it's the word of God. Right. right? One more time. All that slavery that you benefited from is coming to an end. When your economy collapses, when Russia invades you, when all manner of evil comes, the Lord is one evil thing to take down another evil thing. Right? right? It wasn't about the Lord is taken down by the Persian Right. They're going to be taken down whether you like it or not. Right. And then ultimately, Christ is going to take that kingdom down. Right? 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 They're going to reign forever. Hashem Yahu Shang. One more time. Isaiah 5 verse 13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. Because they have no knowledge. Sister, you believe in God? You've got two minutes to the word of God. You're coming out. You believe in God? Two minutes of God? 
babu. Two seconds. Yes, young king, you've got two minutes. 